It's about as far as you can get from the manicured lawns of Ascot. But for former jockey Rosalind Binder, the Pilbara offers a home away from home. As soon as I stepped off the plane yesterday and took a deep breath of the air, I just felt like it definitely, it definitely draws you in, like it's home. Behind the infectious smile belies a young woman's tale of tragedy and triumph. I was born into racing. Dad was a jockey before I came along. Mum was a strapper for uh, the Morton Stable, I believe. And they met at Belmont Racecourse and not much later had me. Father Rod was a dynamic character in WA racing, whose influence is evident in his daughter's spirit. Dad was 14 and he decided he didn't want to go to school anymore and he um, was small playing football and Nan and Pop uh, decided to bring him over to Ascot and introduce him to Kevin Williams and um, they took him under their wing and taught him how to ride and it turned out he had a natural ability with horses and it kind of the ball went was rolling from there. I grew up um, always wanting to be a jockey and I remember on school dress up days, I used to go dress as a jockey. <laughs> and um, I think many of the Ascot kids did. By the time I was 16, I had ridden in a few amateur race meetings at Cojanup and Lark Hill. And I just automatically, it just happened. I signed up as an apprentice. I did well here at Port Hedland. I came here as an apprentice on my third meeting. Dad and I flew up. Uh, for Port Hedland Cup Day and I had six rides for five last and one winner. <laughs> but that sort of broke the ice and, and gave me a little bit of a name here at Port Hedland. I'd only just started race riding. I think it was my 10th race ride here in Port Hedland. And um, I always rode a winner every day I rode here. The 2006 railway stakes will be forever etched in the heart and minds of the Binder family. The day of the railway stakes, which was 2006, I had actually had a, a fall at Pinjara race day and broken my collarbone and had my arm in a sling and Dad had um, Bell Bazaar in, started in the railway that, that day. Set to go racing. So my sister, my dad and myself were all on course. Bell Bazaar and confectioner, confectioner Bell Bazaar, they split the line, don't know, camera. The horse passed the post and Pop decided to have a heart attack. <laughs> which is not funny at all, but now in hindsight, because he's survived and he's fit and healthy. Number four is the winner, Bill Bazaar. The great WA mayor gives Rod Binder his first group one success. I will never forget that day because Dad went through, must have had the most emotional day of his entire life because he was standing upstairs in the members behind the glass with his dad, his own father, having a heart attack and his horse had just won the Group 1 Railway Stakes. So I, I felt really hurt for him that day. As Rod comes down here and uh, greets Paul King with John Foster, the former battling jockey horse breaker who has now today achieved his crowning glory in WA racing. The day Dad died I was riding um, in the Pilbara but I was actually um, in Robin. We got a phone call and um, said that Dad had had an accident at Ascot Trackwork. Dad always said he would die doing what he loved and I automatically thought that he had been hurt by a horse. Never would I have thought he had a heart attack. He still was playing football to the day he died. So um, it was quite strange but we jumped on a plane and went home and, and did what family have to do in those situations. I feel like when the day my dad died, my career as a jockey did a little bit as well. My opportunities seemed to have ceased up and I didn't have that extra support to push me to ride in races. And I, yeah, I think definitely that has a big um, impact on me because I do believe if dad was alive today, I'd be riding at Marble Bar tomorrow. I am now the marketing advisor for racing and wagering Western Australia. I want the general public to see how good our industry is and to see how good my life has been in racing and wagering. Cheers. Racing is all I know. Horse racing is all I know. It's in my blood and I want people to see that 
The people involved are good people. The racing is a good sport and I love racing. Ready gear on the second. I love the thrill of it. I love the passion. The people involved are so passionate about the industry and that's what I love the most. I love the horse. I love that it's noble and proud. I love that they have strong presence. I love that they're flight animals because I would say that I'm a little bit like that when <laughs> flight. But I just love the presence and the aura that they have. Yeah, I would love to see Aboriginal people um, out amongst our racing industry, especially because if you look back in Australian history, Aboriginal people have a great affiliation with horses. They were all stockmen and they were used as stockmen for a particular reason. They were used as trackers for a particular reason and I think that all ties in with the horse, regardless of whether it's a race horse or a show horse or a polo cross horse. It's sad, but then I think of how lucky I am to have spent 24 years with a great man because those types of men don't come along often. And he has done a lot in his life. And I think he, I'm, I'm content with the situation we're in because of he fulfilled every dream he ever wanted to do.